Okay, let's say you have a Mac and an iPad, and you have a movie file that you want to take from your Mac to your iPad. Well, normally what you'd have to do is you'd have to plug in a sync cable between your Mac and your iPad, and then you'd have to drag it into iTunes and have iTunes slowly take it over while it's backing up your iPad, while it's maybe messing up your playlist, or it's wiping out movies that you already have. Now, wouldn't it be better if we could just talk to the iPad from the Mac on the same Wi-Fi network? Then all we would have to do is just drag the file over to your iPad. Of course, there is a way. Introducing Pick Share It. Now, Pick Share It installs on your Mac and your iPad. It then creates a wireless bridge between your Mac and your iPad so you can send files across. Let's take a look at how to use Pick Share It. So, first, we have to make sure that the iPad and the Mac are on the same Wi Fi network. Now, once they are, all we have to do is just start Pick Share It on the iPad. And then we could launch PicShare It on the Mac. Now, as you can see, the iPad and the Mac have found each other on the same Wi Fi network. Now, all I have to do is select the iPad from the Mac, just like that. And now the iPad is going to ask me whether I want to accept the incoming connection. And of course, I do. And now the Mac and the iPad are both connected. So, all I need to do is take the movie file that I want to transfer, drag it straight into the picture at window and just drop it. And the iPad gets it right away. So what if I have a movie that's not in a format that the iPad can read? Well, I'll just take this movie right here and I just drag it into the picture at window. And what's going to happen is it picture is going to convert it for the best format for the iOS device and send it across. And as you can see, it's done. But what if I have some pictures that I want to drag onto my iPad? Well, Picture It allows me to do that too. So let's say I want to take one of these photos here and I just want to drag it over to the Picture It window straight out of um, iPhoto. So all I got to do is just drag and drop it and release it and Picture It sends it across. Or I could grab another one too as well and Picture It sends it across as well. Or let's just drag a third one over and picture it, of course, sends it across. Now, all these pictures are saved to my camera roll on my iPad, so any of the applications can use it. So let's go over to my camera roll, and as you can see, I've got my first movie that I dragged over here, and I've got the second movie as well. This one was converted from a different format, but is, of course, now is playable on the iPad. And of course, I've got my photos as well that I can take a look at. And as you can see, it's really easy and really fast to use PicShare It to send movies and pictures over a wireless link to your iPad. To find out more information, go to www.dvdxdv.com.